Aquarius, Rising Aquarius, Sun and Moon. This is Ellie with your December Love Focus reading for 2015. Now these are general readings, they won't apply to everyone. If you would like a private reading, go to www.hypnoyoule.com. Please check your sun, your moon and your rising videos as these cards have kept coming up with the same message for a lot of people. I'm going to choose one card for the overall tone of the month Aquarius and then one for each week so there'll be four cards. I'm Aquarius so let's see what's happening. We have the star card and the star card is telling you that the sun and the stars and the universe will be blessing you with wonderful emotions flowing. Now some of you will be having two to choose from. This is the Aquarian card and you are balancing your emotions. Now you're uh, emotionally more committed to this than you are to this one. So for some of you, you might have met someone and then impromptu ran into someone new and you're trying to decide which one best fits you emotionally. Now this is also about having plenty of love flowing. Your senses are flowing, you're very attractive, you're starry-eyed in love, others are starry-eyed in love with you, you are the star of the show. The first week, oh no, exes are coming back. Fond thoughts of exes, they're running through your mind and then they just pop up out of nowhere, Aquarius. Aquarius, this is with um, Pisces, Scorpio or Cancer or it's just letting you know that it is going to be having fond memories about an ex. This is also a card about people that have passed who are sending you emotional fulfillment through a Pisces, Scorpio or a Cancer or someone slightly younger than you. So listen to your thoughts, dreams, and uh, aha moments and see what your spirit guides are connecting with you. Second week, magician card. Beautiful. As above is below, what you see is what will be. Manifest. Imagine it. Live it, breathe it, see it, and then it will be here. Now you're with someone who makes you feel on top of the world. This is your karma. This is your karmic reward for all your hard work. Now if you're in a uh, single, you'll meet this person. Uh, maybe if it's an ex, you have this karma and you keep going back and forth, back and forth. So during this week, you're feeling really strongly with them. If you're single, you meet this person, you're feeling very strongly with them. If you're in a committed relationship, it's just going blooming roses. Just get stronger and stronger every week that goes. Third week, you're feeling a little bit heart sore. For some of you, let's say there could be heart attacks, um, chest pain. Someone's causing you grief. Maybe you're missing someone. It could be as simple that they're away from work, away at work, and you haven't spent much time with them this week, and so you're missing them. Now, this is an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, and this is for some of you. This could be about three air signs. So, how this is about a love triangle with three air signs for some of you. For others, this is about this time of the year makes you emotionally uh, miss someone who you love dearly. They could have passed uh, or they uh, are no longer with you. Um, you know, you've been broken up with them, but you're emotionally feeling down and feeling empty and feeling um, heartbroken this week. It could just be insecurities, maybe you haven't heard from someone this week, um, or you're just missing someone, or it could be that someone has broken up with you and you're feeling very down. Let's see the fourth week. Queen of Cups, you're emotionally getting back on top of yourself, so it could have just been insecurities, maybe you didn't quite believe in yourself. I feel a Virgo around this, so maybe a Virgo gives you some sage advice, or maybe it's with a Virgo. Um, now you've got your feet in the water, so you're sensing emotions in others. You're also filling up your cups with your emotional stability and feeling strong. Now this is Pisces, Scorpio or Cancer, so you could be getting closer to one of those water signs and you're feeling the love within. So Aquarius, it's going to be a wonderful month for you in December. I hope you've enjoyed that reading and I shall see you next month.